Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. Today we're going to talk about the arrival guidelines at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport in Manila, Philippines. Before we get started, let me remind you that you need to familiarize yourself with the immigration rules in the Philippines. And I actually made a video last month and the rules that came out that affected the travel, they were issued in July of 2020. So I'm gonna share the link below in my video and also check out the eligible passengers and the documents that you needed to present before the immigration in the Philippines. And I already made a video on that last week. So also check it out before proceeding to this video. Number one, as early as three days before your departure, accomplish the electronic case investigation form from the Red Cross website and make sure that once you register, you save the QR code from your email. This is actually a two-step process. Step number two, ensure that you have a confirmed hotel booking from an accredited hotel by the tourism and health agencies and you needed to stay at that hotel until the results of your COVID test has been issued or for at least two days. You needed to stay at your hotel until the results are sent to you and until the Bureau of Quarantine Medical Certificate is issued. Upon check-in, sign the declaration and waiver form presented by the check-in agent indicating that you are healthy and fit to travel. After checking in at the airport or online, accomplish the electronic health locator form and arrival card and make sure that you save the QR code on your phone. The QR code will be needed for immigration purposes. Here are the procedures when you arrive at the airport. Number five, upon arrival, listen to the briefing conducted by the Philippine Coast Guard. Number six, undergo a temperature check upon the planing and proceed to the designated waiting area. Fill out the affidavit of undertaking. Number seven, proceed to the verification and bar barcoding booth. Present your passport and the QR code sent to you after accomplishing the electronic case investigation form. Number eight. Pay your swab test or RT-PCR test. The test costs 4,500 pesos and you may pay in cash such as Philippine or US dollars or you can use a card, a Gcash, PayPal, WeChat Pay or Alipay. ATMs are available inside the terminal as well and you will be given three barcode stickers. Number nine, proceed to the swab test booth and hand out the three barcode stickers. Number 10, undergo the COVID test and receive a sticker indicating that you have completed the test. Place the sticker on the back of your passport. Number 11, help desks are available at the waiting area for passengers who do not have a smartphone or devices. Charging stations are also available. Number 12, clear with immigration. Present the QR code sent to your email af after accomplishing the electronic health locator form and arrival card. Number 13, proceed to the hotel verification desk. You need to refer to your hotel code indicated in the email that was sent to you after registration to the ECIF. Number 14, claim your baggage at the designated carousel and clear with customs check. Number 15, submit the affidavit of undertaking before exiting the terminal. Proceed to your booked hotel through your preferred mode of transportation. Number 16, at the quarantine hotel, check in at the hotel and you needed to wait for 24 to 48 hours before your results 
will be ready. Okay, for those who tested negative, it will be sent to the email address you have provided when you register. If you fill out a mobile number during registration, you will also receive a text message indicating that your test result is ready and has been sent to the email address you have provided. Please take note that in case you have an onward connecting flights and you are required to extend your stay, make sure that you rebook your connecting flights right away. Number 17, your accommodation and food during your stay including fees incurred due to required extensions will be at your own expense. Delivery of food and other essentials to your room are also subject to rules and regulations of the hotel. Procedure for going home. Number 18. If you tested positive, you will be directed to the Bureau of Quarantine. If you tested negative, you may obtain your Bureau of Quarantine medical certificate via the BOQ's medical website or page and you can get clearance at your quarantine hotel. Once you are cleared, you may contact your relatives to pick you up at the airport. If you have a connecting flight, make sure that you also pre-register and obtain the necessary travel and health documents and make sure that you comply with the local government unit's um, protocols upon arrival. And once you arrive at home, you needed to complete your 14-day quarantine or self-isolation. Once you arrive at your final destination, make sure that you familiarize yourself with the community quarantine guidelines being imposed in your area and make sure that you comply with the local government units, uh, medical or health protocols and also your age will affect or restrict your travel plans as well. Thank you guys for watching and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And if you have any comments or questions, please send it to the comment section down below and make sure that you are on the main comments Otherwise, if you are just replying to somebody else's comments, it will be harder for me to track or answer it right away. And thank you guys again. If you have other videos that you wanted me to, to create or research, uh, let me know. And I hope everyone stays safe. Have a great day. And most importantly, travel safely.